Has your credit been stolen? Free simple web test to see if your information has been pilfered. Enter your credit card number at extension 299. We'll tell you if it's been stolen. Just do it and then it'd be like, yeah, we stole it. Stick upgrades available, which is good. I think I've done that once. Everyone is so happy. Sherry, Sherry Soda Tower finally installed scent fresheners in all the air conditioners. Yes. Offsetting the horrible smell that plagued the tower for years. Sorry. Still got a cough drop in my mouth. Um, everyone feels so relaxed and happy. Hooray. All customers for today will have a very large boost of patience in their waiting order. Safety inspection due. It's time for your five-day inspection. Yada, 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 as usual. Okay, so... We... Click to deactivate. No good. Yeah, the only one that I would consider is this one. But even then, I'm not 100% sure that I need it. Hmm. I mean, we already have a whole bunch of food options. And with this both being time for the inspection, as well as, like, my first day in a while. Oh, man. Okay, I took out one of the easiest. We're gonna want the McMuffin. And maybe the steak. Maybe we'll, you know what, we'll go with fries, I think. Hey, Saberwin. Weather not nice. Oh, I believe it. Thankfully, here it's like decent. Yeah, here it's 45 degrees, which I know you wish. Uh, but everyone in my house is sick. And I'm like, I'm fighting it off. So it's not, like, it's, it's not, like, making a huge noticeable impact on me. But I can feel I'm losing the fight on getting sick. So. All right. Do we want to take any bets on whether or not my enter key is falling off again? Because my bet is high. Okay, so a jumbo cola with ice as I try to get back into the swing of things. Feels like negative 10C, aka negative 25. Oh, God, no. Coffee with two sugars. Maybe that's what you should have instead. Instead of that weather. Just get coffee. Um, okay, everything. All right, inspector lady. Uh, okay. Two butter pecan scoops and then everything. I love when you guys are easy like that. Okay. Order fries, but no salt. Heathen. Also, it's raining. I think that's it. Is that the rain emoji or is that the snow emoji? I can't quite see. Uh, bacon and cheese. I hit it. Snow. Yeah, the emoji is, like, super tiny on my screen. Two mint. And nuts. Yeah, no. I'm not looking forward to snow again. Oh, God. I'm not looking forward to snow again at all. Um, okay, cheese and then the greens. Just the egg. You got it. Small grape. Ice with flavor blast. Um, one egg. Sausage and cheese. Um, one egg, sausage, bacon, um, everything. As I try to get back into the swing of it, um, bacon and cheese, uh, ranch, cheese, onions, peppers, one sausage, one cheese, get that out of here, um, one egg, sausage, bacon, cheese, everything, get that out of here. Um, ranch, cheese, bacon, 
Um, just the cheese and the greens and the carrots. Ranch cheese mushrooms. A jumbo grape with ice. Um, one egg, sausage, bacon, cheese. Flush that toilet because that goes by quick. Sausage, bacon. A medium cola with no ice. One egg, one sausage. People here when I was at McDonald's, oop, just the egg, would sometimes be on a salt-reduced diet. Oh, so the food had to be taken. I mean, that's fair, and I totally get that. But when I hear that, I just think of people like my mother, who is not on any specialty diet or anything like that, is not in any way, shape, you know, doing this for her health. I arguably think that she may potentially have, like, maybe not anorexia, but what was the other, like, not bulimia either, because she doesn't do that, but, like, the orthorexia, I think is what I, I heard the name for that the first time the other day, where, like, you get super into, like, a very specific diet, and she doesn't have a specific diet, just, like, her very picky eating ways in a way that's not healthy about that one. Yeah, like, I believe orthorexia, please someone else Google it if you're going to, like, actually look into it. Please do not take just my word alone on it. Um, but it's, like, for example, going into keto and, like, being, like, super so into keto that it, like, you kind of become, like, obsessive with it. Almost to the degree that, the degree that you would be if you... Uh, Almost to the degree that you would be in if, like, you were counting calories to an unhealthy degree. You know, not like, not like the counting calories to try to lose weight, but like the, you know, I can only eat, you know, a, a thousand calories or, you know, like, the stuff that's very ED related. Small tea with ice. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So when I hear, like, the no salt thing, I think about people like my mom... Specifically, I think of my mom, where, like, she kind of gets a little shovey about it. But it's not for, like, any benefit to her health or anything. And, in fact, what she really needs is, like, more uh, in her diet kind of a thing. Uh, one egg, one bacon. She would deny all of this, though. And I'm not, like, trash-talking her in any way. I'm just, like, concerned. Because she's the kind of person... Again, love her to death. Uh, no ice, but flavor blast. Ranch and cheese. Yeah, she's the kind of person whom in the past I've heard her say that she won't work out because muscle mass weighs more than fat does. And so she, like, get, got fixated with, like, a number. And I'm like, that's not... Great. So you see where, like, my head goes with that. And I know, like, some of it definitely started on, like, losing the baby weight and then just, like, went a little overboard with it, I think. Anyway, no one tell her I said this, because I know she doesn't watch my videos, so we should be fine. And this is in no way, shape, or form, like, trying to be judgmental on people with EDs. Just more along the lines of, like... I don't know. Okay. Let me, let me think of how to best phrase this, because this can very clearly come out wrong. But this isn't shaming on people with EDs. The problem is, like, with when somebody who has an ED fat shames like, everybody in their life to, like, unhealthy degrees. Perfect day! Um, but yeah, when they, like, fat shame to an unhealthy degree. Um, like, my brother is heavier set, and she always gets on his case about it. And I definitely agree that he does need to lose weight because it's becoming a health concern for him. And just by, like, eating a better balanced diet would help with that. But the concern that I have is, like, she'll call me fat. Um, I admit I have put on weight, but I am, like, 150 pounds max. <laughs> I'm 
like 160 when I really forget to take care of myself, like, you know, as in like, I don't like do any exercise or anything like that, but that is not, around here, that's not, around here, your problem is like, when you weigh closer to 200 pounds than you do to 100, that's like where the problem becomes for a lot of people, so... Uh, right, we still have a whole catering service. Either way, enough talking about depressing things. Let's get back into actually making food. You're a concerned child. Thank you. My mother got into weird food fads after husband number three got adult onset diabetes. Ooh. So she'd test my blood sugar because she was convinced I ate too many carbs. I have a long family history of diabetes. Like, Almost everyone in the family has it on the one side. So, like, trust me, I've heard the carbs thing my whole life. But also, I have problems from other parts of my family about other intestinal problems. Okay. UOO Oil Field Mechanics Wanted. View serviced 39101 pump jacks or 11E35 oil derricks. We can, uh, we need your help. A local oil island is in despair and we can lease the land to you in exchange for profits and royalties. If you're interested, contest, uh, contact us at extension 2000 or visit suite 22 for more information. Click and start profile. Better toilet? What? Sarah wants another date! Okay, hold on. Benefits of the perfect day. We pass the inspection. Um, so my name is Pepper. I want to build a better toilet. Oh, yeah. Um... I do not have 2k for that. Mind you, at the time it was under 200, so currently around 250. Yeah. I mean, especially so long as, like, you... Because you walk, like, everywhere. So it's not like you're not getting physical exercise to balance it out. I'm gonna go back and read the other one. This is the same one. I don't have 2k, so the most I could do is this. Project funded! Results will come in two days. Hey! Okay, Sarah wants another date. She loves lasagna. So, some great lasagna dish. Love another round if you're up for it. Same time today. We'll be stopping by your restaurant at some point today. Okay. So, we need to have lasagna on the menu. Um... Yeah, we'll just go with that again. She always harp on me, but not my little brother. Oh, yep. No, I totally understand that vibe. I would 100% understand that vibe. Okay, please, please close. I'm just trying to make sure that these messages that are going off is not, like, that I should have any cause for concern. Okay, no. They are not. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, we are definitely not going to be going for nearly as long today. Oh, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to be right back before I start our day with our date with our girl. Um, Hey, Ryan. Came in today. I'm so happy. Your new computer. That's great. Uh, I'm going to like literally be right back in a few seconds. Uh, I just, everyone in my family is, in my family, everyone in my household right now is sick and I'm starting to get it and it's getting to the point where it's hard to talk because of the amount of like phlegm that I've got built up here. So I'm going to go get like some Vicks and like kind of rub it on my throat and maybe that'll help while I'm trying not to, you know, do nothing but suck on cough drops in the middle of the stream. So I'm going to be right back. Okay, I'm back. And you like to bike when possible. Yeah, I do too. It's not so easy when, like, they don't keep up on the the streets and the sidewalks around here, though. 
if you can find it. I've been nursing a bottle of Honey NyQuil. I haven't gotten Honey NyQuil, but I've been drinking... I've been having plenty of soup, which is going to be much better for me. Um, like, right now, Rich is the worst off out of all of us. But... Yeah, so if my throat is shiny, it's the it's the VIX. But like we've been doing humidifier to the max at night. Hold on. Uh <laughs> just me yelling at Rich, reminding him that if he's getting up to, to shower, he's gotta turn that humidifier off so we don't have to refill it, because I just refilled it. Um so yeah, that I got a whole bunch of cough drops that I've got hanging out here. Um, let's see, what else is there? There's, yeah, we've been going back and forth on the NyQuil and the DayQuil. Um, I try not to use it too much because I'm not getting super flu-like symptoms, just, just a lot of phlegm. An insane amount of vitamin C. Like I said, balancing soup because the soups that we're picking all have protein in them. So this way the protein's staying up. Um, showering regularly and consistently and or taking a bath with um, Epsom salt, whole nine yards. Check the Discord. Ah. Do -do -do. Let's see. I did see the 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 dinner that you had the other day, which is pretty good. But that is that is the last thing I'm seeing in here. Oh, just a sec, cool. Go back up here. But yeah. So for me it's the bike itself not feeling like cooperating. Oof. Yeah, my back brakes on my bike don't work. Um they haven't worked since two thousand and six. I have tried repeatedly to fix that. I blame my brother, uh, because he was the reason that my brakes got dismantled in the first place, and then anytime we've tried to fix them since then, they just, like, lean on each other weirdly. So, we've even gotten them professionally fixed, but the rest of the bike is fine. So, I'm not willing to, to separate from it just yet. You know how that goes. On a plus side, I still have an Edgar in the window. I don't know if you guys can see her. Yeah, she's still just all vibrant. Trying to get the Discord to cooperate. Well, what I can do then, since, you know, we're waiting on Discord in that case, I'll start up with the next in-game day. We'll see how our date goes, and then I'll pop it back open. Because that's, I think, the best thing I can do. Hold on. Okay, well, now I gotta get up and check. Um, yeah, literally, it's gonna take me a second to look. I'm not even gonna do anything. Plot twist, I am wearing... I'm wearing sweatpants because my stomach hurts. Um, uh, just open it. Let's see where it's, it's taking me. Where is this going? Where? Okay, so I don't know what's going on, but it's not letting me open the file. So I tried everything I could with that one. But I'm gonna I'm gonna look into it though. There it is, now it clicked. <laughs> Mood. Yeah, no, I have not ever seen that stuff in stores in the US. Yeah, hold on, I'm just gonna slide it over so everyone can see because I got streamer mode enabled, so Yeah. I have not ever seen that stuff in the US. I don't know if that's like a you guys thing or what. But also at this rate I mostly just buy off-brand uh off-brand NyQuil and DayQuil. 
Like I'm getting the over the counter stuff. The not the over the ca uh, the like the cheapy stuff, like the the Meyer brand. Thanks, Nightbot. Which reminds me, um, before I completely forget about it, I know that Redbubble's been having a sale lately. Found it at the pharmacy across the street from where I work, and it was on sale. Salad. Yeah, I noticed that. Thanks for the ads. Um, but yeah, uh, Redbubble's got a sale going on right now. So that I think that covers everything. They when I click on it, it didn't give me the details. But uh, if there's anything that like looked, in, this is the newest one I put up yesterday. If there is anything on these designs that, like, you wanted on a phone case or something to give to somebody for the holidays. Like, show show more of the options, please. Not just, like, the ones that are meh. Here, hold on. Hold on, then we're gonna get back into the game. Um, I'm gonna pick the Malachite. Because I think the Malachite shows best when I'm trying to show it off to people. Come on. Take a moment. I want to scroll all the way down so this way it loads, but... Like I said, I think Malachite loads the best. Yeah, so there's like desk mats. Yeah, it's all on sale. And how much on sale depends on the item. But, yeah. In fact, I honestly thought about getting this Malachite dress. Like, full, like, no stop. I mean, the phone case looks pretty solid. Although, I will say, I'm... Very happy with the Italian themed phone case I got. So, you know, food for thought since it's on sale. Only reason I'm bringing it up. Aside from the unfortunate side effect of consuming mass quantities of honey, natural for system cleaning, this night goal has been amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe that might be what my issue is with the with all the cough drops I've been taking lately. Anyway, um, let's go uh, for our date. Our lasagna loving date. Just the coffee? Cool. I can handle that. Okay, my cough drop is gone, so... Uh, we are going to rely solely on the power of Vix. Which I have been told by my Puerto Rican friend is the Hispanic cure for everything. I don't know how accurate that is. Just one, two, three, four, five, six. Just telling you what she told me. <laughs> Large water with ice. Yeah. Coffee with creamer. Oh man, I can hear him hacking up a loogie in there. <sighs> Okay. I'm glad this is easier. Well, Vix, or NyQuil is from Vix, so that tracks. Yeah, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's. I just, I use the, like, little container of that for, like, so much. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Like, it's great when your sinuses are, like, going crazy because of, like, allergies and stuff. Um, okay. Cheese, onions, peppers. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take this out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and just get everything. Eh. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm trying to like relearn pressing the things for this one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, just the greens and carrots. Ranch and cheese. Ranch, cheese, mushrooms, tomatoes. Two, three scoops of vanilla. Um, just the coffee. You got it. 
Just the coffee. I'm trying to get better at the numbers part of it. Coffee with two sugars. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I had chicken sandwich with spinach today. Ooh. I don't know why, but after the whole NyQuil thing, I thought you were about to tell me that you had NyQuil chicken, and I was like, please don't have NyQuil chicken. That's not good. Okay. I'm doing hers before everything else. I don't care if the other guy leaves or not. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and flush it. A jumbo grape with ice. Uh, cheese, greens, and carrots. Trying to get everything handled. Coffee with creamer. You're the second person this month to ask me about that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, the reason why is because, like, it wasn't actually a TikTok trend. The TikTok trend was making fun of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, like, they managed to fool major news media outlets into believing that people were actually making NyQuil chicken. Creamer. One, two, three, four, five. Ranch, cheese, onions and peppers. Okay, everything else has to take a momentary backseat real quick. Um, just the greens and the carrots. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, a small grape with ice. Get the rest of this handled. The rest of it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and take this out. I know, I know, I'm working on it. Give it a thumbs up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Ranch, cheese, bacon, onions. Go ahead and get the rest of this. Um, just the ranch and the cheese. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three scoops of vanilla. Flush the toilet. Get all this taken care of. Ranch and cheese. Um, let's see. Uh, I love you. Like the. Um, uh, I don't know. Mine too. See you later. Bye. Okay. Ugh, that was almost bad. Could have screwed up the date. Um, two scoops of chocolate with nuts. But so far, I am keeping my perfect streak. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got everything going for us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Talk about the most hectic day I've had. Jeez. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. Uh, the other was the person who trained me at work. Work has actually been keeping me fed as stuff we can't sell gets offered to the staff. Solid! That is one of the best things about like working in food-based places. Is that, that's part of the reason I actually thought about applying at a grocery store recently. Um, animal to avoid today. Bear. <laughs> My boss would get a kick out of that. Most important thing is that one can have in life is faith. Whether it's faith in one's family, friends, or spiritually. Mama. So, the reason that I think my boss would find that funny, we are required to sell, um, like, warranties on stuff. And obviously, like, obviously, like, people aren't gonna want to buy warranties on, like, certain things. Like, 
if if you're like super good with your discs, like you're not gonna want to buy a warranty on it. If you've never had an issue with a disc, you're not gonna want to get a warranty on it, especially if you don't have like a puppy or a kid or something like that. Um, so I at least like try to make it entertaining. So we've been jokingly calling uh, the insurance like bear protection because like you you know when I'm saying it at the register like I have to say it. So I'll be like. Like, yeah, this uh, coverage program does cover your disc for a year from nuke, small child, bear, duck, eagle. So long as you can scoop the shards back into the case, we'll swap it out for you for the next year. Uh, but do not, do not fight bears for your disc shards back. <laughs> and, you know, by the end of it, I usually get people that are, like, laughing and having a good time with it. So, because they're kind of also caught off guard. So, yeah, anyway, bear insurance. Gadget review. BK6000F. Quad99 is back. This time reviewing the BK6000F series. A skeptical of the description of the description that Electronic Electronics gave this product. But sure enough, I was able to take any book I own and read it about 40% faster. You simply clip the device to any hardcover book. And it works like magic. While the results were varied on paperbacks, EE says a firmware update is on the way. I had much better results with law books and general reading. Cookbooks seemed to make me nauseous, and EE warned to never use this device on religious literature. <laughs> Going so far as to place those words on a red bag that houses the device, so beware. Otherwise... It's an odd product that works, but at what cost? 19 bucks and available in all EE stores. What is this thing? Like, if you don't read quick enough, does it turn the pages for you? Like, I don't understand. I'm a great salesperson with stuff like that because I offer it on things people aren't thinking would be covered, like batteries. Yep. Yeah, I will, I'll do it with stuff that they, like, didn't consider, but, like, my favorite thing is just to, like, make a big kind of, like, joke about it. Like, if if they're getting it for, like, a console or something. Because, like, I'll do the serious moments where it's like, yeah, it'll, you know, protect everything in the box. It'll cover the, the console. It'll cover the cords. It'll cover the controller. But, you know, then you want to, like, mix it up a little bit. Like, you never know, you know, if your nephew is going to show up at your house for Thanksgiving and chuck your, chuck your controller across the room. Yeah, make it personable. Because if people feel like they're being read a script, they're not going to want to buy it from you. Like, I, I don't I don't know how else to explain it. We got a new guy at my work, and I'm just like, look, I know you're just trying to, like, say the things you're supposed to, but, like, what's making, like, what makes me successful in doing this is I'm talking to the person for the person. I'm, like, basing this off of their needs. If I know that the guy, if, if I've known the guy, for example, to, like, never have an issue with discs, and he's, like, always perfect with it, I might put, like, less of a push for it. But somebody who has three children, I'll be like, yeah, I definitely recommend getting this because I remember when my, like, brother was very little that he used to, like, carry around a PlayStation 2 by its cords. Like, while you might be perfectly good with it, can you really trust that your kids aren't going to go through, like, a bad phase or something? So. Oh, it's going to rain. Excellent work. We may not know whether you are worthy. We shall see. Mysterious ticket awarded. Noted. Okay, so the catering events. Oh, God, I just clicked it, so we're going right in. Um, these 26 people serve with perfect orders. No more than three bad ones. Okay. Do we think I can do this? Because I don't think the answer is yes. Um, butter and cinnamon. Uh, no sugar. Got it. Uh, oh, man. I love the easier uh, chocolate and stuff, Dave's. Okay, with sugar. Uh, just the ketchup. One vanilla, one chocolate cherry sprinkles. Two scoops of vanilla with a cherry, just the mustard, no sugar, 
um, with sugar, uh, ketchup and mustard, one scoop of vanilla, one scoop of chocolate, three scoops of vanilla. Oh god, this is going nuts. Okay, no sugar, ketchup and mustard, just the mustard with sugar, uh, butter and cinnamon with sprinkles, one, two, three, uh, with sugar, um, nothing on it, got it, just the mustard, oh, uh, I didn't mean to do that, okay, uh, with sugar, okay, no sugar, uh, two scoops of vanilla with a cherry on it. Uh, salt and butter. <laughs> ah! Just the mustard. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. These are taking so long. Okay, just the ketchup. Just the mustard. Ketchup and mustard. Okay, cool. We're done. Got 36 people. I want beaver tail. I am not familiar with beaver tail. Uh, true, to an extent. I empathize with the customer relying on life experiences, makes it easier to talk to, establish a rapport. Exactly. The new guy has a degree in human resources, um, which, like, good on him for, but at the same time, like, it, it, I can understand why he goes, like, by the book, but at the same time, like, you gotta, you gotta go a little off-brand. If you're actually going to sell these things. Because we're having, like, a competition at my work just to see, like, who's pulling the better metrics. Um, given that I only work one day a week, I don't have, like, the highest of hopes. But at the same time, like, my goal is just every now and again to want my boss into the ground because it makes me laugh. Okay. So... Should I buy other foods? Let's try it out. Um, fillet the fish. Dough fried in the shape of its namesake, smothered in cinnamon and sugar. Common at fairs and festivals. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we definitely don't have that as much. That's for sure. I'm trying to think what else we would have. I mean, I know I've had, like, chocolate, chocolate gyros before. Those are pretty solid. Okay, these I can work with. Let's go ahead and get the fish. Um, let's go ahead, and we're going to make fish, the big one here, and because it's raining, we're going to go with the soup. We're going to see how that goes. My anticipation is not very well, but either way, two mint chocolate chips with a cherry on it. Trying to get all this. Their delicacy and can even be maple flavored. Ooh. Uh, everything. Got it. They're huge in Eastern Canada. I can imagine that. Because it definitely sounds like a Canadian dish. One chocolate, cherry, and sprinkles. Um, okay, mushrooms and greens. Okay. Um, chicken, bow tie noodles, bullion cubes, celery. Creamer with one, two, three, four, five. Like crazy. They're also a delicacy in March in Nemo bars. Huh. Well, 
place for getting the fish ready quickly. I should have done fish a long time ago. This is quick. Oh. Um, a small grape with ice and a flavor blast. Uh, chicken, boat tape of spoolians. Boop. Get all this taken out of here. Uh, chicken, bote, bullion. Uh, boop, boop. Uh, ranch, cheese, mushrooms, tomatoes. Uh, just the ranch and the cheese. Oh, I thought that was done. That was me. Okay, jumbo. Tea with ice and flavor blast. Okay, well, there goes our another perfect day. Jumbo cola with no ice. A medium diet with ice and a flavor blast. Go ahead and flush the toilet. Okay, just the cheese and the greens. Cheese and the greens. A jumbo diet with the ice. Creamer and one, two, three sugars. Coffee with one sugar. Okay. Uh, give me one second here. Botanually, balloon cubes, seasoning, and then we get everything. I wish this soup wasn't so complicated. Okay. Large grape, ice with a flavor blast, chicken, botan noodles, balloon cubes, celery. Ah! It's not what I'm hitting. Okay. Two mint and a cherry. Okay. Flush the toilet. Na nam wait na na mo bars. I think I got that right. One two three four. I tried that earlier. That was not correct. Chocolate, coconut, the crumble base, and then is layered of custard and uh, top with chocolate. That sounds kind of like uh, Mounds Bars for us. If I had to put a finger on a feeling for that. One, two. Cool. Uh, everything. Boom. Okay, so chicken, bow tenuals, bullion cubes... Celery, um, ranch, cheese, onions, and peppers. A jumbo cola with no ice. Um, ranch, cheese, onions, and peppers. Uh, cheese with the onion and peppers. Go ahead and just get all that. I'm hitting literally every arrow key when I do this. Eat. Just get everything. Um, a small water with ice. Uh, ranch, cheese, bacon croutons. A jumbo grape with ice and a flavor blast. Uh, ranch, cheese, onions and peppers. A large water with ice. And two scoops of vanilla with a cherry. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start putting that with something more complicated, I think. This is just so quick. Uh, Bowtie noodles, bullion cubes, seasoning. And then we hit everything. Okay. Got it all. Okay, so a large grape with ice and a flavor blast, because I already screwed up that one. We're not going to get a perfect day. <sighs> no matter how hard I would like it. A small cola with ice and a flavor blast. Uh, also common this time of year is butter tarts. Ooh. Midwest salad right there. Right, 
That reminds me, I gotta start going to the store and seeing if anyone's got panettone. I heard the Walmart already had it out. You are dying over there. The shower head's coming loose? No. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I showered today and I didn't even know. Fortune for the day is the number 14. Tomb of Kings and the Tomb of Commoners are the same in a passing century. That doesn't seem correct. Animal to avoid today. Yeti. Well, no kidding. Did you ever notice that when you shop the big and tall section of any website, they only show the tall guys where the fat models? Is there a shortage somewhere? That has to be it. I think I found my true calling. I quit as of now and I'm going to pursue my dream. Big Mike. You go, Big Mike. You go. You live that dream. I hope you make it. Go, go be the best like heavy set model that there is. I hope I hope good things for Big Mike. Let's see butter, corn syrup, raisins, brown sugar, and eggs all mixed together and thrown into a shell and baked till solid. Ooh. That does seem like that'd be pretty good. Um Soup upgrade is now available because the last thing I need is to make my soup any more complicated. Um, funding failed. Sadly, your contribution to your most recent project you funded did not make the goal. The amount of money you have funded on the project was returned to your bank account. Ugh. May attempt to get funding for their idea in the future, so... Silver ticket! Yay! Um, I'm off to the local university to pursue my art career, so I won't be able to stop by the tower anymore. But please accept this gift I found mysteriously one strange day. Perhaps you can make better use of it? Sarah, four mysterious tickets received. You will be given a new Cook for Love person a date in the future? No! I can still date her while she's going off to the university to pursue her art career. Just because she's not stopping by anymore doesn't mean that we can't date. One thing we Canadians know how to do well is sweets. Fair. What we know how to do very well is fatty fried food. Like, um... I'm pretty sure, like, fried ice cream's a thing. Deep fried Oreos, I know for a fact, are a thing. I've had those. Those are great. But yeah. I, I can honestly say I've never had deep fried ice cream. I might have to change that when the next, um, when the next fair comes around. When the next county fair comes by. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I don't know why, but every time, like, the feeder goes off, like, Edgar feels the need to just, like, stop and not go all the way to her food bowl. She goes to the first food bowl she sees, which is Selena's, and then, like, doesn't go the rest of the way, so you have to, like guide her over there and be like, look, you have food in your bowl. Please, just eat it. Uh, sees your fried food and raises you poutine, poutine just Luis. Just like your moon vibes. Fair. From Toronto and Montreal. You can find vendors that drizzle maple syrup in the snow. I've done that. I've actually done that. I went to um, Quebec and had, um, Maple syrup on a stick that was drizzled in snow. Apparently, bagels are incredible in Montreal. You know, of all the foods that I ordered in Montreal, I didn't think to get bagels because I didn't, like, know that they had a reputation. <laughs> yeah, be believe it or not, I have actually been to Canada in multiple different places. Um... But I will say for every single one of them, it's been a while. Like, because I went to... Oh, God. I went to British Columbia. I think it was... I think we went to Victoria? Is that the name of the city we went to? It was, like, right, like, literally on the coast. Um, 
and then like on the flip side, the other places that I've been, um, obviously Niagara Falls. Uh, I've gone to Niagara on the Lake, which is about an hour away, and that's where they do um, the Shaw Festival. So I've been to the Shaw Festival. Um, I've never been to Toronto. I've driven past Toronto many a time. I flew out of Toronto, but I've never actually like been into Toronto. Um, and I've been to Montreal and Quebec, of course. There's a guy on YouTube who has fallen down the rabbit hole of reactions to things that are Canadian. You know, I kind of, I kind of feel that. Um, but yeah, so the most time that I think I spent anywhere was it either Montreal or it was in Quebec, but I'm not sure. Which I'm gonna, I'm always gonna say with like a light French-based accent because the whole reason we went there was for my French class. So, <laughs> which I'm sure probably makes the people of Quebec very happy. Um, everyone else in Canada, I'm not sure about. No.